Guys, male initiation. This is something when you look at history, it is a universal, okay? It's, it's uh, happened across many cultures, many societies throughout history, throughout time. So it is shown to be a universal thing and it's something that's innate within us, within men, within the community and a tribe of men. To initiate men in some way, to, to set up some type of initiation process to transfer a boy into from boyhood to manhood and you look around in modern day culture and even today like in very it, it it's basically disappeared from our culture and western culture and modern day culture but it still hangs around a little bit here and there you see it in like fraternities you know in, in universities you know so there's always some type of initiation there there might be something in some type of fight gym or um the other one i was thinking about what was the other one i was thinking about you know i know with mormons i, I one of my ex-girlfriends um was very close to this rich family and they were mormons and they sent their sons away to africa for a couple of years um that was their sort of initiation there from boyhood to manhood um i remember going to a rugby club and you know in this rugby club one of the initiations is um this huge people have to drink out this huge funnel okay and people would piss in this funnel they put ash in the funnel they vomit in it they oh, do all sorts of that and that, that that guy would have to drink it so it's still you know in very small corners it, it hangs around but generally it's lost and most men i would say 99 percent of men don't have any type of initiation initiation into any group or anything like that but i'm talking on the broader sense i'm from boyhood to manhood and so the anecdote, I think it's very uh, beneficial. I think it's beneficial for every man to, to go through some type of initiation period, to test themselves, to, you know, get rid of that inner child in many ways and to banish that inner child and, and really test yourself and come out the other end and believe that you're tough enough, you can handle it, you're a man now. And of course, with it not around in our culture today, you guys have to search it out for yourselves and you have to do it you have to initiate yourselves in many ways and that means you have to set yourself challenges various random challenges um to test yourself to push yourself to initiate yourself and that will help you grow as a human that will help you grow as a man grow into masculinity for feel more like a man so i'm not saying you have to go out and you know, slay dragons and, you know, go out and fight, fend for yourself out in the wild and only come back with a head of a lion or, you know, you know, or put your hand in a, a mitten of, of bullet ants. And I think that was, a you know, some African tribe or Indian tribe or something like that. They put their hand in a mitten of bullet ants and they have to show no pain. Um, yeah, you haven't got to do anything crazy like that, but you have to go out and find something that is very, very challenging and very difficult. And that does push you and does test you and does banish that little bit of an inner bitch. You know what I mean? So you come back more resilient, tougher, more confident in yourself, more confident that you can handle something that's very challenging, very difficult. You know, it's an independent thing often as well. You know, you're out there fending for yourself, doing something for yourself. And when you do all that stuff, you come back, like I said, feeling all those things, feeling confident, feeling more uh solid in your masculinity and who you are as a man you trust yourself all those things you know they're great they're great things and they, that, that's why it was a universal that is why it's a universal thing and it's, it's it happened throughout history throughout cultures and societies because they understood we understand intuitively you know that jump from boyhood to manhood it's a very important thing and you can't hover around you can't bring that too much of that uh, dependence and insecurity and naivety as a as a as a child you know the world is a harsh place and you need to be prepared for that F prepared for that harshness and the difficulties that life will throw to you so going through that initiation process boom prepares you for that and gets you in that right frame of mind examples i could give i could give some really weird examples i mean i i've you set various challenges you can go climb mountains you know you can uh, I, I spent a few nights uh, homeless, like sleeping on the streets, for example, something in the middle of winter, something difficult like that. Really challenge yourself. 
go go to do something that's incredibly uncomfortable go to you know a, a fight gym a boxing club or a jiu-jitsu place you know incredibly masculine places go there as a novice push yourself you know all these type of things you, you have to take ownership now because there's a lot of benefit to it you got to search out yourself so it's uh i it's a, this is a video as a call to arms guys if you if you believe in what I'm saying, in that sort of initiation co uh, process for men that ha is beneficial, well, initiate yourselves. Go out there, guys. Do something. Do something challenging. Do something difficult. Do something that is going to push yourself and make you feel like you come back more of a man.